Here we have Wayne Clark at the back of the uh, enormous kiln. And uh, I've got a lovely back shot of him here, throwing out the kiln props. But as you can see, it's quite a quite a size. Now he's starting to throw little bits of uh, kiln shelf and stuff at me because I'm filming him. <laughs> it is uh, a very big kiln indeed. Let's take you down the side. And here you've got the side stoke holes on either side of the kiln. So that you can raise the temperature as you go higher up the firing. And then when you're getting towards the 1200 upwards, this is the side stoke holes come, become very important. The chimney is very broad, but then uh, at the bottom and at the base, but then it funnels up to uh, a 10 to 12 inch cowling that goes up another 12 feet. So you've got really a 16, 17 foot chimney. And uh, there's the wood stacks, very well organized. And there's the sticks for the end of the firing for the side stoke to maintain the temperature and to get that last rush of 100 degrees so that you're getting above the 13, 20, 13, 40 degrees centigrade and uh, that wood becomes very important so nobody's to use that until the end of the firing and the same on the other side you've got the cut and split oak and mixed hardwoods and that's the beginning and the midway through and towards the end of the firing to build up the embers in the front and then all of the split wood that's stacked on the other side and that's for that side to side stoke again and to continue building the temperature up. So an all in all, pretty impressive site, a humongous kiln uh, and one that uh, Wayne can uh, quite easily fill in a couple of months and uh, you know he brings the teams of students over uh, he's had some Norwegian students come over, he has the students from North Wales College of Art and uh, you know they get a good grounding in how to fire an Anagama, st Anagama style wood kiln over two to three and sometimes four days so uh, a tough introduction to them for wood firing but one that uh, is a bit, of, bit about camaraderie and also about learning the process of making, firing and uh, getting woods out of a long firing. And I suppose the difference is, is that you get all that ash build up uh, over the longer firings compared to the Olsen fast fire and you get a lot of fly ash and a lot of flame work that works around the pots and with the stoking and the careful stoking in the side you're going to create those little pockets of reduction and oxidation that creates the beautiful colours on the chinos and on the other glazes that are in the kiln itself or unglazed uh, pots also that are put in with special clays uh, that are designed for the Anagama but uh, all in all pretty pretty impressive so this is AJR Potter uh, signing off and uh, looking forward to coming uh, next Saturday and Sunday or Saturday to pack the kiln and then the following weekend to do a stint at the firing so we will uh, post more firing updates as this progresses all the way to the unpacking Take care.